By default, the MG emulator save files are in the same folder as your games. And there should be a save file side by side with your game. And then I'm going to copy a couple of them. Then go to your RetroArch folder, go to saves, MGBA, and then paste the saves inside of this folder. Now in the file extension or the file type, change it from save to SRM and do the same for the others. And that's it. Now I'm going to open RetroArch to test to see if they are working. And as you can see, the save file is working correctly. If method one doesn't work for you for some reason, we'll use uh, online converter to convert the save files to SRM. And if you're using MGBA, your save files should be in the same folder as your games. And I'm going to copy two of them here and then paste it in my desktop for easy access. Then go to this website, tiboyce, cock84manic.github.io. Then click here on the browse button. Choose your SAV file or save, save. For RetroArch save files, it has to have the same name of the game. And the easiest way to do this is by copying the name of the game. Then paste it here. In the end, dot SRM. And then OK. And I'll click here to save the SRM file to your PC. Do the same for the others. Dot SRM. Save. Now for, for some save files like this one or this example, it has it shows here a notification message that save files larger than 32 KB, KB are not supported. So we'll have to use another one, but sometimes this one doesn't work correctly. So it is what it is. Then you go to browse, save, then save. Now cut or copy your SRM files. Go to your RetroArch folder, go to the saves folder, and then go to MGBA and paste them here. And now I'm going to test to see if the save files are working correctly. And as you can see, they are working correctly. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.